Brandon Miller, Dwap Reith, Gary Trent, Alex Caruso, and Jalen Williams are all on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites, my top five plays for today? It is Friday, December 8th. We are talking DraftKings, but we're doing it after this. First, hit that like button, then subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and then follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Also, just sign up with us, Stochastic. You're looking for Sims tools, lineup generator, projections, ownership across multiple sports. You're in luck. Those links are in the description. If you're looking for the sports betting side or the pick'em site side, go to oddshopper.com, take a market-based approach to beating the books. But now, we're into the top five. First up at number five, we have Kata Bates Diop. Small forward, power forward, eligible, 4,500, projected 22. The goal is like 35. He's in the winning lineup 24% of the time. No Kevin Durant. Obviously, no Bradley Beal, no Grayson Allen. We just saw this kind of matchup uh, about a week and a half ago, and we saw Kata Bates Diop get the start in place of Kevin Durant. I went 28 minutes. He's a .8 fantasy point per minute guy. Nice matchup here against Sacramento. 10 points, five boards, an assist and a half, and a stock and a half. Really nice opportunity to get a good point per dollar option on a day where we don't have a lot of great value. We do have a great pay-up option here, though, in Devin Booker. Same reasons that I just explained for Kata Bates-Diop. You get Devin Booker playing without any other stars. Point guard, shooting guard eligible, 10,100. Projected for 55. The goal is 71. He's in the winning lineup 25% of the time. 36 minutes here for Book. 1.5 fantasy points per minute against a not-all-that-great Sacramento defense. 33 points on 33% usage. Five boards, seven assists, steal and a half. He is my preferred payup for the day. You get the MPE, and you get a price tag that is set up assuming Kevin Durant is playing. This one's kind of gross, and I expect it to go away by the time we get to the end of the day, but Kenrich Williams, power forward center in at number three, 3,200, projected for 14, goals 26, winning lineup 26% of the time. This is just a value proposition. We don't have a lot of it, and paying down for someone like Kenrich Williams works right now. As we get more value, this will change. 16 minutes, six points, three boards, an assist, and a stock. He's highly projected for ownership now, this will go away in a bit, but for 3,200, there are worse options for paydowns. Or you can go to $6,800 Anthony Simons and just feel great. Point guard, shooting guard eligible, projected 36, goals 50, winning lineup 36% of the time. I have him in for 35 minutes, a fantasy point per minute, and that's with Malcolm Brogdon projected in. This gets even better if Brogdon ends up out. He's questionable right now, and I don't expect him to play. They He, he left the last game early, so there's two games off or two days off right now. Why not skip this one off on Saturday, off on Sunday? Get Brogdon right. You want to trade him later. Can't get him hurt now. All of that will make Simons look better. But even if Brogdon is in, I get Anthony Simons in the two spot. 21 points, four assists, four boards, and a stock. Not the best matchup in the world against Dallas, but you'll take it with Simons stepping into 35, 36, 37 minutes. Finally, we close it out, obviously, with Dante Exum. Point guard, small forward, eligible, 4,500. Projected for 23. The goal is 35. He's in the winning lineup 39% of the time. We have no Grant Williams. We have no Josh Green. No Maxi. Dante Exum got the start last time out. Played 26 minutes. Didn't close the game because the... Mavs were up by 50 or whatever it was against the Jazz. So even in 26 minutes, which I think is low, you get 0.9 fantasy points per minute for Exum. Nine and a half points, four and a half boards, three and a half assists, a stock, and a really nice matchup, at least defensively, against the Trailblazers. So guard forward 4,500, Dante Exum is your number one contender. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Friday, December 8th. FanDuel version is around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. We are back again Monday morning for another edition of The Contenders.